Okay, students keep asking about details um, about probabilities. So this is a third set of probability problems. Let's make it a little bit more complicated than number one and number two. Five cards are dealt. What is the probability of getting four aces? Okay, let's see. Okay, so um, one, two, three, four, five. Five cards are dealt. We want four aces. So we will play an ace, an ace, an ace, an ace, right? So when we get the first ace, what is the probability that the first one will be an ace? And it will be four out of 52 because we have four aces and 52 cards. Now, once we got the first ace, what is the probability that the second one will also be an ace? So we don't have 52 cards anymore. We have 51 and we don't have four aces. We have three. Similarly, what is the probability that the third one will be an ace? Well, we don't have 51 cards. We have 50 now and we have only two aces. And for this one, we don't have 50, we have now 49 cards, and there is only one ace left. Now for the last card, there is no requirement, could be anything. So how many cards do we have left? We have 48 cards left, and um, there is no requirement, so any one of the 48 will do. So this is not going to affect our calculation because the probability of getting four aces will be the product of these fractions, but this is just one. So that should give you 24, which is a product of these four numbers, and this big number over here, which is a product of 52, 51, 50, and 49, because this is just one, I'm ignoring that fraction. And if you divide, you're gonna get this. Now, is that the right answer? And it turns out that that is not the right answer because that would be the probability of getting the four aces uh, like that in that position. But I could also get ace, 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 something else here and ace, or I could get ace, ace, something else here and ace, ace, or a, something else, A, 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 and uh, something else, and A's, 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 A's. So the probability of this happening was this, and the probability of each one of those happening is the same thing. So the answer should be um, that number, 0.00003694 times one, two, three, four, five times five. And that gives you 0 0.00018469. If you saw the previous videos about probabilities examples, you probably remember that we did those problems in two different ways. One, doing this kind of approach and another one saying, well, the probability should be the number of elements in our event A divided by the um, number of elements in the sample space. The number of elements in the sample space is generally very easy to figure out because we have 52 cards, right? Cards, we have 52. And we want to choose five. Okay, so how many ways can I do that? Combinations of 52 taken five at a time. 52 taken five at a time. I keep changing from this notation to this notation, but hopefully you will have seen both. 
Um, okay, now, um, how many elements do we have in this event which is made up of getting four aces? This is generally a little bit more complicated to figure out how many elements do I have in event A? Okay. Um, event A consists of choosing four aces, getting four aces in those five cards. So we have four aces only in the deck of cards. And the rest is 48 more cards. And we're going to choose five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Four of those, we want them to be aces. And the last one, that one can be anything. So in how many ways can I do this? Combinations of four, taken four at a time. And in how many ways can I do this? Combinations of 48, um, taken one at a time. And what I have to do is multiply these two numbers. So how many elements do I have in event A? Combinations of four, taken four at a time, times combinations of 48, taken one at a time. And finally, the probability that we're looking for should be four choose four, four times 48 choose one divided by 52 choose five. And if you do that with your calculator, let's see what you get. And what you get is 0 0.000, one more zero, 18, four, six, nine, which is exactly the same number that we got before. All right. Okay, second question. Um, five cards are dealt, just like before. What is the probability of getting four of a kind? Not four aces, four of a kind. So four ones, four aces, four threes, et cetera, et cetera. So now that we solved the previous problem, this is going to be a piece of cake because the probability of getting four aces, of course, is the same probability of getting four ones. And it is a prob the same probability of getting all the way to four kings. Four kings. So all of them are the same and all of them are equal to this number that we got before, 000, 018, 469. So what is the probability of getting four of a kind? It is going to be this, was this, was this, was this, which is the same thing as saying 0 0.000018469 times 13. And that gives you 0 0.000, .000 Two four zero zero nine six. That's it.